Hey, what's up guys? Just Doug here back with another video on the uh, DTF Motorsports YouTube channel. Uh, today I wanted to go over the body mounts made for my 79 crew cab to fit on my 2006 F350 chassis. Uh, I always had tons of people asking about them, people wanting to buy them. Uh, I do have the files for them. I do laser cut them and weld them and I can, you know, sell these mounts. Um, I wanted to go through and show you how they work and what to expect. That way, you know, if someone does decide to purchase these, they know what they're getting and what kind of other modifications I have to do to make these work. So um, I figured since I had the cab off now, now would be a really good time to go over them. I uh, couldn't really get a good shot of them with the cab on. I tried to explain it, but I figured I should go through and do an official video of just the cab mounts. So this is the rear cab mount here. This is uh, one solid piece, you know, fits, drops right over the frame, welds the frame on both sides. Um, it does capture both rear cab mounts into one. So this is set up to use uh, early Super Duty style cab mounts. I think it's like 99 to 2007 they used this style cab mount, uh, the bushing I mean. Um, so it has this like keyed shape in here. It's cut into the plate so it does like kind of lock into place. You can't turn, you know, locks into place good. Um, the reason I did use the newer style cab mounts instead of like the 79 ones is because a lot of people like the SMB cab mounts, which is what I plan on buying for this, uh, the silicone cab mounts. So they don't make them for a 79, but they do for the Super Duties. So I went with the newer style Super Duty cab mounts, the bushings, that way uh, you have the option to upgrade to the silicone ones from SMB if you want to. Um, and the way this one sits, it does sit on the angled part of the frame. So I do have that angle, you know, accounted for in the, the mount. So it does sit straight up and down. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind when you're looking, if you're looking to purchase a set of these, um, you'll have to see where your cab is gonna sit. Um, because this is pretty sp specific crew cab. It's set up for a crew cab long bed chassis. So, I mean, it may work for other builds. You know, if you have a single cab, you're trying to put on a single cab frame, it might work, but I just haven't done it for myself. So I don't know for sure, but I know for sure that these mounts will fit a crew cab onto a crew cab frame. So um, that's just another thing to keep in mind. You know, if you have an extended cab or something, I don't know exactly how it's gonna work for you. you know, also, I just wanted to clarify, just because I have this sitting on the angled part of my frame, doesn't mean you can't put it on the flat part. Um, so you got two options if you are mounting on the flat part of the frame. Um, there's extra meat here. So like these windows are the same size on each side. I just added uh, meat down here. So if you did want it on the flat side, you could just notch this to match the back side and then it would sit flat or you would just have a gap on the back side. Um, so yeah. Not saying you can't put it on the flat spot, I'm just saying it's designed to sit straight up and down while it's on the angled part of the frame, so. So yep, that's the rear one, full solid, all the way across. Like I said, uses the newer style bushings while they're on the frame. Um, same thing with the front ones, uses the newer Super Duty cab mount bushings. Like I said, it's got that shape cut into it so it does lock into place. Um, I can cut whatever year you want into them. I just cut 79 into mine because mine is a 79. Uh, and these just weld around to the frame. And there's one for each side. I'll walk around the other side. So there's one on this side. Um, I'll get some measurements on where I put these. That way, if you're building the same truck, you know where I got them. And um, this does lift the cab up. Uh, it's probably about... I'd say it's probably comparable to like a three inch body lift. Um, it's just what I had to do to get my cab far enough forward and high enough for the cowl to clear the turbo. I probably could have came a little bit lower, but like I said, when I first made these for myself, I didn't really have anything else to go off. So I made them high enough to where I knew it would clear no matter what. So, um, so the thing you might run into when you, if you do buy these and use these, is I had to make spacers for my bed to mount to, which um, I don't sell these bed mounts because these are super specific to my bed because I have a super camper special bed on this truck and the floor isn't centered in a super camper special truck. So these wouldn't even line up with a normal bed. 
So that's just something that you'll have to come up with on your own, um, some sort of spacer, um, which, you, I mean, you have to make a bracket anyway to mount the bed because the bed holes are narrower on those trucks than the Super Duty. So um, I could sell these, but kind of the same situation, you might have to modify them. Um, I don't really have any way to guarantee that these will work for your build. So, yeah, I just want to do a quick video while I had the cab off. You know, I had a lot of people ask about the cab mounts. So, oh, kicking stuff over. But yeah, there's another shot of the rear mounts. I'll do one from the back here. It's all quarter inch steel, welded. Um, got the brace on the top and the bottom. So it's fully boxed. Need another shot of the front. 39. All quarter inch steel, welded all the way across. And for measurement references from the coil bucket on the 2006 chassis, it is about seven and five eighths from the coil bucket to the front edge of that mount. And from the old body mount. It's forward about two and a quarter inches. And then for the rear one, there's usually a cab mount right here. I was gonna measure off of that, but I already ground that off. So I'm gonna hook this onto the cab mount like that, run it back. It's 73 and a quarter to the front edge and 76 and 9 16 to the back edge. So, and then what I did to get my height there, I set the cab on, had it on the rear mount. I made sure to torque my uh, body mount bolts down so I knew that it was in its final uh, resting height. And then I took a laser level, I matched it to the bottom of the frame and I brought it up until I met one of the body lines on the cab. And I had those bolted down and torqued onto the cab, these front ones, and I, jacked up the front of the cab until the body line was level with the frame. And then that's how I welded those in place. Uh, let me see if I can get a quick measurement from the bottom of the frame to those. Yeah, get a close up of, basically where that bevel is, is at the top of the frame. So measuring from the bottom of that cab mount at the back side to the frame is like, eh, about three and three eighths. So that gives you a rough idea of where yours should sit. So yeah, I just wanted to do a video for everyone that was asking, you know, now is a good time to take a video of these body mounts with the cabs off. So I just wanted to let you know, like I said, the only thing you have to figure out how to uh, position your bed. Um, I can sell those mounts, but there's a really good chance you're gonna have to modify them to fit your truck. So what I could do, let me turn this camera around again. So what I could do is I could sell these mounts. I would leave these windows out of them or at least make them a lot smaller. That way you have a lot of room to cut material off and I wouldn't put a hole in them. You can see this one, I actually didn't even nail on mine. I had to uh, re-drill that hole, so I gotta weld this shut. But uh, yeah, so I could sell the, you know, sell these with no holes in them. I could uh, get rid of these windows here so you could modify them however high you need them to be. Just sell you a set of eight of them for the same, have them all be the same and then you can modify them as you please. And then set your bed down on them and just drill your holes straight through this plate. Um, so that's an option. If someone was interested in buying a set, I, I would be willing to make a set like that. But um, like I said, those are gonna have to be custom fit to your own truck. And uh, so I got six of them are shaped like this where they weld to the outside of the frame. This rear one, I had to do a little different because of the, the leaf spring hanger here. So, you know, if you needed a set of eight, so there would be six shaped like that and two of them shaped like this. So yeah, I just wanted to do a video to try to explain how these body mounts work a little better for people that are wanting to buy a set. Um, if you guys have any more questions, just comment down below. I think my email is attached to YouTube. If not, go to dtfmotorsports.com. Shoot me an email from there. Uh, I don't have these listed on the website yet just because like I said, of all the different variations that people do with these trucks, I can't guarantee that this will work for sure for your build but this is just the way I did it. So um, I will sell them if people are interested in them, but like I said, there's a chance that you might have to slightly modify them for your truck. Um, I know a lot of people ask me about the core support mounts too. Um, I'll do a separate video on that because 
I didn't use the 79 core support. I used the Super Duty core support, cut up a 79 core support to mount around it, and then made brackets to attach it to. So I could sell those brackets, but like I said, it depends on the route you're going. I kept the Super Duty stuff so I could keep all the stock piping and intercooler and uh, a radiator and all that stuff from the 6 -0. Um, but some people want to use the 79 core support. So, like I said, I don't make brackets to mount a 79 core support on a Super Duty frame. But I do make brackets to adapt the 79 core support to a Super Duty core support. So, um, I'll do a separate video on that to try to explain that a little better. But, uh, like I said, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, comment below, shoot me an email. I'll try to help you out the best I can. Thanks again.